hello friends welcome to my channel and today i will discuss about the cost center in mdg so how to create the cost center cost center group and cost center hierarchy so normally this activity is uh, done in ecc system but in mdg we have a uh, uh, this functionality for the master data because cost center profit center this the controlling there are some data for controlling which is the part of the uh, master data so you can run uh, the governance process for the cost center so what you have in ECC same you can perform in the MDG but in MDG the main difference is you have to follow the governance process which is like you have your change request which I explained already in my uh, previous session so you can see my previous session for the change request and workflow how it's work right so I have an example for the cost center so this is the cost center example which I will complete in the three session first this ABC this is a cost center top node hierarchy which I will define in MDG system and then I have a group cost center group so this will cover in the different session and then we have the cost center so for this one also I will have a separate session for this one so for this session I will show you how to create the top node hierarchy for the cost center because when you have the cost center so cost center is linked with the group and the group is linked with your top node hierarchy right so uh, I will log in in SAP and I will launch the Fiori launchpad So this is so this is a Fury app. I log into Fury app. So I have also recorded the first session for the Fury app, how the Fury app looks like and how it works Fury app. So this is very user friendly and you don't need to jump multiple screen like like ECC. So this is the main advantage of the Fury app in a single screen means in the single page you can perform all your activity related with that uh, transaction and uh, and and even you can log in to your mobile also right so these are the tiles okay so I will uh, I will click on the manage cost center group hierarchy to define my top node hierarchy so I will click on the manage cost center group hierarchy okay so if you have already your cost center uh, cost center group hierarchy which is a top node and if you want to create a new one so you can create a new one or if you can search the existing top node 
then you can click on simply search and you you can see yes there is one uh, one cost center group hierarchy is already defined so I will create my new cost center group hierarchy so uh, so this is change request type for the cost center group hierarchy I will select addition so I will have a separate session for the addition what is addition and how it's work so basically I would like to give just uh, short explanation so addition basically it's control the valid from date for the cost center profit center or accounts okay so wherever we have addition concept so it will control your valid from date so so this addition is created valid from date first chain 22 so it means whenever you are creating any cost center profit center or accounts with this addition so it will have always valid from date the first chain 22 okay so click on ok so this is your change request number and whatever mandatory field so you have to give the value for those mandatory field so as per my example I'm going to define the ABC hierarchy right so in description I can put ABC hierarchy okay so these are the optional if you want to set priority low high and region of okay, this is a replication time okay so this is basically comes from the addition so when you create addition so you can select your replication timing what you want to have default replication timing so once the cost center is created so how you want to replicate so i will select the general data so 001 I will choose as a controlling area and in cost center group hierarchy this is ABC and I can copy paste so this is a cost center group hierarchy description okay so we will perform the checks any the checks you will check if any errors so there is no error so we can submit for the next level approval so basically this is done with the requester and and this is our CR number so once the requester okay this is normally an organization it's happen so that we have requester we have approver and maybe approval is one level or two level it's depend on the organization requirement right so here I have set up for two level approval hierarchy so it means this request is created to CR which is 1162 CR or CR number then it will go to the approval level one once approval one is approved then it will go to the approval level two okay so now the requester is submit the request okay so now you can see the request is uh, uh, submitted okay so I have already set up the workflow with my username for requester for approval one and approval two okay so there are two way now for me I can refresh so it means I can see the next next uh, action which approval one has to perform or I can go to my change request my change request
okay so this is my change request i can click means approval one can see in the change request uh, whatever open change request so they can I can close this one so now now everyone approval one can see the all the details that all is correct approval one can click on the finalized processing so which means approval one is approve the request now it will go to the approval 2 so again close the screen and now approval 2 will log in the SAP Fiori and will go to the change request and will see the open open request so click on refresh yes there's one approval request is pending for approval so it's up to like how many level approval hierarchy you have so now you can see the final step is for approve so once the approval tool is click on the approve button so your request is approved So here the validation will start and then it will check if any error or, or so now just refresh and we'll see yeah final check approved so which means uh, cost center group hierarchy is created which is a top node and we can see what is the work item is performed by whom and when so if you see the step first submission changes to be executed this is submit action by the requester this is second is processing which is which action is performed by the approval one and this is the timing this is the date and and uh, the and this is a approval to the final check and final check to be performed and this accent date approved okay so and in the workflow log also you can see the details what are the so so you can see this is my username so the request is approve and finally processing if I want to see the more details so click on the background step so you can see the what are the step is performed so from here yes this is the workflow background step so which is basically sent for to the approval one approval one is complete means finally processing so workflow background jobs is completed and uh, set the status and here the check is performed with the workflow background steps okay so next is approval 2 is approve the request and then workflow is activate the request so this is the background jobs which is runs in the background right so now we will check our top node hierarchy is created or not so let's go back to the manage cost center group hierarchy so search for our hierarchy abc so we can see our hierarchy is created and click on the hierarchy processing So you can see our hierarchy is created right 
so uh, this is a process of how to create the top node hierarchy for cost center group hierarchy so the next session i will uh, i will show you the cost center group how to create a cost center group and with and assign with the top node hierarchy with abc so as per example abc is uh, created now in the next session i will create a, a ca cost center group okay then then uh, the cost center thank you for watching my channel and if you like my channel please subscribe if you have not subscribed once again thank